Hi, I'm Akshit Tolgar, founder and innovator of Heart Club. It's a common winter chore. You probably did it today, but now shoveling snow has turned deadly for two people in the tri-state. One death today related to the snow. A Waterford man went into cardiac arrest as he was outside shoveling snow. A 74-year-old Milwaukee man was found dead outside his home this morning just before 6 a.m. He was shoveling snow when he collapsed. This is the second shoveling death in less than a week. You might think of snow shoveling as a regular chore. However, for several people each year, it takes a deadly turn. During exercise, when your muscles need more oxygen, your heart rate increases so that it can meet that demand. Arm exercises put even more stress in the heart. A study shows that a young adult is more likely to have a higher heart rate while shoveling snow compared to running on a treadmill. In addition to this, a common human habit of holding our breath while lifting objects decreases the oxygen levels in our bloodstream. As if that wasn't worse enough, the body reacts to cold weather by narrowing blood vessels. This combination of unfortunate circumstances makes snow shoveling and other winter activities a cause for thousands of heart attacks and hundreds of deaths each year. Studies show that the day after an 8 inch snowfall compared to a normal day has 34% more heart attack deaths and a 16% spike in hospitalizations. A temperature decrease of 1 degree Celsius causes a 0.5% spike in the death rate. This makes heart attack death rates the highest in the U.S. in the months January through March. This is evidently a huge problem, and you might be wondering what solutions are currently on the market. Shockingly, the answer is not much. There is currently no product that has a warning system that accounts for the temperature of the surroundings. This can be a problem, as we know that a certain heart rate could be acceptable in warm temperatures, but it could be extremely dangerous in low temperatures. Another problem is there is currently no commercially available winter glove that tracks your health. Lastly, if someone wanted to buy a fitness tracker today, they would need to pay somewhere between $100 and $400 for good quality services, making it unaffordable for many people. Introducing Heart Glove As demonstrated by our functional prototype, Heart Glove will measure and display to you your heart rate, the temperature of the surrounding air, and the number of minutes you've been outside, and depending on these factors, it will tell you if your health is good or at risk. To ensure our consumer knows when they're at risk, we have an LED that switches from green to red to capture their attention. Note that in this video, I am not at risk and have simply set the parameters for demonstration. Harkov also has a feature that provides you with regular reminders to take a break so that you do not put yourself at risk. Heart Club will also have a blood oxygen level monitoring capability. In the event that Heart Club detects that you're at risk of cardiac arrest for a long period of time, it will send an automated email to your emergency contact so they can do a wellness check on you. Heart Club combines the multi-billion dollar winter wear and fitness tracking industries to create its own blue ocean industry with billions of dollars in market potential. As you can see in our strategy canvas graph, Heart Club takes the best of both industries while adding new features and provides it at a reasonable price. This slide shows you what we eliminated, raised, reduced, and created in a heart glove to monitor your wellness while you are performing winter activities. Here's a look at our buyer utility map to give you an idea of where heart glove prioritizes in each stage of the buyer experience. Here is the chart of our three tiers of nine customers. Our current market are men over 45 and people with cardiac issues in cold regions as these are people most vulnerable to having a heart attack while doing winter activities. Our soon-to-be customers are people who do not know they are at risk. This includes women over 45 and young adults who live in cold regions. We plan on reaching this group through advertising. In order to get a better idea of how big our consumer market is, we looked at Canada, a country that receives large amounts of snowfall every year. We found that they have at least 8 million men who are over the age of 45. Other regions yet to be explored are the northern U.S., European countries, and Russia. This means that HeartGlove has a large consumer base. To make the HeartGlove prototype, we had to spend about $70. However, by investing in cheaper yet reliable alternative raw materials on the market, we can bring this under $35. This is our financial model. After factoring in other costs, our production cost per unit is $38, and our customer price is $49 leaving us with a profit margin of 30%. In the table below is our financial projection for the next 10 years. And as you can see, we hit our break-even point in year two. 
We plan on distributing hard gloves through all major retail sellers, including online. Thank you for watching. I'm Oxford Pilgrim, founder and innovator of Heart Glove. With your support, we can make Heart Glove a lifesaver.